Hey guys, it's Paul, combat veteran, MMA fighter, YouTuber, and today we are checking out another winglet animation because this guy is, he's just a legend. This is Live and Let's Buy. But before we get started, of course, check out the merch store. I've got lots of fun parody shirts, mostly Warhammer 40k related, but I am adding some Team Fortress 2 and some other shirts coming up here shortly. Be sure to check out for updates and check out the second channel, the Instagram, the Twitch stream, and the podcast I run with my brother. All the links are down below. All right, let's get after it. Man, this is truly a hat simulator. This game has the best hats. Okay, so interesting. Oh, wow. So that gas mask is actually, I believe it's called a GP5, and it is a civilian gas mask. In the Cold War, the Soviet Union and the United States both invested a lot of money in attempting to not so much well, to defend their populations from nuclear attack. The idea, of course, was not to uh, prevent a nuclear attack. Obviously, if you were at ground zero, no gas mask and hiding under your desk would save you. But the idea was that for a large portion of the population, right, the danger of a nuclear strike on a country's infrastructure could be mitigated if civilian gas masks were mass produced and distributed, if there was lots of radiation sickness medication, pre-positioned, pre-produced, all that sort of stuff. And so the Soviets mass produced this very creepy looking GP5 gas mask. And of course there you can see it has a filter. That is a really dangerous asbestos made filter. Um, you, you don't wanna use those because they um, degrade over time and while the carbon may not necessarily filter anything out, the asbestos definitely will degrade and you'll be breathing in those fibers. So again, made in Russia, usually an indicator, made in Soviet Russia, usually an indicator that you don't wanna be using that filter. Yep, love it. Love the Union soldier hat and tunic, the party hat, and scout with his hood up. Yeah, that's that's the scout we all know and love. But sleeveless sleeveless hoodie, yeah, peak scout. Oh man, that's a reference to what, like Apollo thirteen, maybe. Darth Vader helm. You know, there's a really great video. Saddam Hussein's elite forces, um, the Fedayeen, actually got Darth Vader helmets. That was their combat helmet made of Kevlar. But uh, of course, they were mostly done. They were totally impractical. They were only done so that they could look like Darth Vader because, again, in the 80s, Darth Vader was the embodiment of evil badassery and that's what that's the imagery Saddam wanted to evoke with his Fedayeen troops. <laughs> I love the music choices here. It's so like comical, over the top, uh, classic musical scores from like Looney Tunes. Let us move. Marasmus, I will rip off your ghost head and crap in your stupid hat. I'm not going to just give it to you. You. Wait, who is that supposed to be? Oh, is that the is that the bad guy from uh, Indiana Jones? 
No. You like that, wouldn't you? You wizard ghost man! Ah! Soldier! This is mine. Soldier, if you please. What well, captain over here? Who's with us? Yes. Some assistance, please. Sir, yes, sir. All right, let's go over the plane. All right around be awesome. You scout. Teamwork. You are right here. Up you go. Proceed. Like so. Time for the killing. All right. This is pretty good. I like I he actually this has a lot richer uh, uh sound effects, right? You can the little like plastic clinking of the figurines falling. Yeah, even a little bit of a reverber reverberation as though it's in a warehouse. This is this is really well done. Stab time. And then this. Hey, it's okay. I got this. Uh, fine. Yeah, hey, well that's what happens when you're a genius. Soldier. Place a teleport out here. Yes. What's that? Teleport out here. Okay. Okay, don't get too excited. Gentlemen, who will join me? Let's do ah, this. Let's go. I love how over the top that that uh, Magnum is. Also, twirling a loaded gun through the trigger well is is a really bad gun safety decision, and just a it's just a bad decision. Ah, I see the must. The engineer has a mustache. An excellent choice. Okay, yeah, I appreciate that's actually true. Like, you really can't communicate that much with hand and arm signals. Uh, you, there's got to be, it's just a really poor way of communicating. Usually, there are very fixed commands you, that a squad leader can give, um, and they're usually very simple. You know, halt. Oh, wait, I guess if I block it with the screen, it doesn't help. Halt, stop, um, rally here. Um, File. Uh, what is wedge? I think wedge is like you put your arm back. Um, like danger zone, I think, or like crossing, like a linear danger zone. Um, yeah, man, it's been a while. Can you can you tell it's it's been a minute since I've done hand and arm signals? But the point is, you can't really get like elaborate messages, like you know, two enemy tanks flank left you i will go around but you can't do it one because the potential for miscommunication is so great you know even if a person could mimic the signs back to you there's no guarantee that they fully comprehend the message I just love how it's cheesy animation, but some really grisly kills. Um. Okay, a toolbox backpack would be eye-wateringly uncomfortable. I can't tell if this is accurate to the plan they discussed. It, I, I really can't tell. The 
engineer is looking like peak roughneck with the hard hat and the mustache and the sunglasses. A roughneck, by the way, is an oil rig worker. Sorry, what is the flaming green hat for? Heavy! Let's go, Megan! I haven't got all day! Oh. You can't sweep up blood stains, man. Come on, come on, we know this. You gotta, gotta, gotta use like a bleach solution first. You know? Claim more in a mohawk, that's a badass look. Also, if you only had one eye, I feel like you would be a terrible swordsman, because like your depth perception is is already so screwed up. It's like good luck even judging if a person's in range. Fat engineer? Holy smokes. That was, that was a solid uh, action sequence, man. Dude, the winglet. What a, killing it. You are not welcome in my world! want to point out man it is as we see in the ufc really almost impossible to kick someone in the head and kill them it's hard to kick someone in the head and knock them out Yeah, it's takes a little longer than that, especially if you're choking right across the trachea. That's gonna be a it's gonna be a wind choke, right? It's gonna take you like seven minutes or so to put somebody out. You want to go for the carotids, right? They're right here, and you put pressure on them, and the person will lose consciousness way faster. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Also, really hard to stab right through someone's skull with a regular knife. You got blood on my suit. I love that extremely bizarre sniper stance, like standing up, leaned back slightly, and looking down the barrel of your rifle. There's nothing about that that is conducive to a stable shooting position. Normally, you want to have as much of the weapon leaning on a static, unmoving object as possible. Um, again, that's going to ensure that the weapon has the maximum stability when you pull the trigger. 
certainly uh, standing in a window, right? I mean, just, just put your arms out and just watch how much movement you can see with the naked eye. Now imagine the level of precision required to shoot a bullet, you know, hundreds of meters, and you realize that there's just no way you can hit much of anything when you're uh, just holding a weapon up with no stable firing position. Again, they're channeling the Matrix here with these scout vids, or scout moves. I mean, that's not even the Matrix, man. That's like aliens, right? Snatching somebody, pulling them into the vents. That is how it's done! Nice work. How's it going here? Today is a good day. Yeah, need a teleporter here. Yeah. I love how there's just one medic that we can see. Alright, let's do this. So, what's interesting, uh, is there, is so secret, secret in the military doctrine is a level of classification that intelligence or data or documents or anything can have. So a document can be classified secret. Intelligence can be classified secret. A computer network can be classified secret, right? In contrast, intelligence is information that has been processed to be meaningful to a commander right now then you have information information is non is is not processed into meaning right so information could be for example six pictures of from a drone right that's flown over an area intelligence would be those six pictures with a report that says you know enemy tank columns observed massing in grid square a b c d one two three four five six seven eight nine Right, so when you see secrets, when you see intelligence, I mean, this this obviously isn't following that doctrinal protocol, but you might as well learn to use the right terms, right? Information, 
is unprocessed, intelligence is something of meaningful value. Oh man, I love the 70s comb over. That's a look. How was that ever popular, man? Yeah. I don't move. Uh, uh, does he have the bread? That's the bread. That's the multi bread. Da da da. Yeah, there definitely is an order to this that I probably should have respected, huh? Whoa! Shout out to the spy with the taped on Breaking Bad face. Is that actually available in game? You imbecile! You've doomed us all! This is very dramatic. God. <laughs> Holy crap! What have you done? Robots are our masters! The flesh is weak! God help us! Hey, it's the Adeptus Mechanicus. Ah oh, yes, I almost forgot. We're going to kill you! <laughs> I'm too handsome to die! <laughs> <laughs> Stop, maggots! Surrender now, and you will not be harmed! Yes! Doom cops! Aus! Aus! Come on, me! You have 30 seconds to leave! The, the slow-mo drama. God, love it. Oh, uh, is this a Max Payne reference? Stop that spy! 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 I got your six! Whoa, the World War One Doughboy helmet from Heavy. Okay. Man, they really love this scout. Wait, did he just have a katana? Bald and bearded engineer? Why does the engineer the only one who gets crazy facial hair? How's it going? <laughs> Oh. 
Jesus. This is all very dramatic. Oh, I remember that from how to how it feels to play demo man, right? Blowing up uh blowing up static gun emplacements. Gator Boy Scout. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I would be really curious to know how good are modern military robots. You know, they've started to publicly acknowledge um, the development of some of those Boston Robotics uh, spot type robots that kind of walk around and, and can do scouting and can haul some uh, some supplies. But, you know, they're, they're powered by batteries, and, and I don't know how long their lifespan is. Um, but, yeah, it's really interesting to see the uh, evolution over time of, of these robots, right, just in the past maybe 10 years. Uh, of course, obviously, combat robots, they there's actually a movement to try to create a... Um, prohibition on ai being able to independently make the call to kill human beings because of how sort of fraught it can be um but you know it's also tough because a lot of militaries realize that winning the ai game can be decisive right imagine if again right now we need human beings to look over every photo do their best to interpret it and see if there's intelligence there but imagine if you had an AI that could look over millions and millions of continuously streaming photos and garner insights into them, right? How much intel would we uh, or our adversaries learn about our forces, which was just invisible to us before, right? It required putting together too many pieces, but an AI could do so immediately, instantaneously. That, I think, is the bigger strategic danger with AI. Certainly not steel-clad uh, soldier robots. <laughs> it's just you and me! Ah, some Matrix style jams. All right, we got some Dark Souls going on, or some Space Marine, right? You got the Power X, yeah. This feels very Space Marine. -y. I mean, they have some of those like commercial jetpacks now, right? And commercial kind of hovering technology, but yeah, my understanding is that the military applications seem kind of limited. <laughs> Space Marine style power hammer, respect. <laughs> Love the uh, Hippo Hippocrates. Uh, the Hippocrates bust saying, do harm. Oh, 
dark. Ooh. That was the least grisly death of this whole series. You worthless lady must get back here and fight! I am not trapped in a facility full of robots! You are all trapped in here with me! Hey, Watchmen reference! Man, this thing is loaded! In my medical opinion, that is a stupid ant! What? Okay, one thing that bothers me, people are like, oh, if you hit your opponent in the genitals, they, the pain will cause them to stop what they're doing and curl up on the ground. This is mm, truish. If you really are in a fight where it's just like a pure adrenaline rush, right, your adrenaline won't let you feel it. Right, if it really is a fight to the death, you just you, you just shuck it off, man. It's the same reason why in a gunfight you can get shot and not even notice. That's how powerful like the life or death situation adrenaline is. Um, different from an MMA fight, right? Different from anything else. Um, if you're fighting for your life, yeah, hitting someone, you have to like mechanically stop that person's body from operating because they will not be able to feel anything. That's that's just how this these sort of situations are. And so the martial artists that are like your secret death touch of punching them in the nuts, um, that that is like uh, that's an indicator that that the martial art is, is, is a little bit nonsensical. <laughs> Gentlemen. Hey, yeah. Mission accomplished. The outcome was never really in doubt. <laughs> oh, you oh, 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 oh. must be drunk. Shall we? We did it. We did it because we're best friends. All right, take it easy. More singing. <laughs> yeah. Let's throw him. Ooh, extra spooky. I appreciate he also has one eye, but it's a Cyclops eye. Whoo, guys, that was awesome. That was his best one yet. Man, I see why people love this dude. Yeah, tr truly awesome and truly a testament to Source Filmmaker, what you can do with that, that, uh, that platform, man. Anyway, this was great. If you got other Winglet videos you want me to check out or other YouTubers that make similar content, man, let me know in the comments. You know I'm all about it. And, uh, yeah, be sure to check out the merch store, check out the other channels, and, uh, thanks again for watching. Till next time, I will see you guys later.